god and goddess. This stuff is so freaking heavy. You'd think that I'd have developed some muscles from frolicking about in the forest when I'm not training with Master. But you have no idea how much effort it takes to lug all these things up and down the stairs for you, day in and day out. <sighs> I'm positively exhausted. My shoulders hurt. <sighs> I'd ask you for a massage, but I can't be sure that you wouldn't do something like strangle me if I were to unbind your hands. <laughs> Not that I mind a little bit of strangling from time to time. So, my love, are you happy to see me again? I do have to say, and you wouldn't be surprised at all about this. But the highlight of each day, the part of the day that makes me feel warm and excited at the same time, is the part of the day where I get to come down here and see you and talk to you. <laughs> it doesn't bother me that you're quiet most of the time. I just enjoy having you in my company. <laughs> Look at you, struggling against your bindings. Oh, you poor, poor thing. It pains my heart to see you this way. It really does. <laughs> your eyes tell me that you don't believe me. Even after all this time we've spent together, all the days in which I've visited you and allowed you to siphon my magical energy, all the time I've spent cleaning you up, attending to your needs, there's still this sense of distrust in you. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. I'm used to being treated this way. It's only made me more unwavering in my love for you. I'm not sure how I feel about this. On one hand, I never expected you to love me back. On the other, I'd be lying if I told you that there wasn't a part of me that wants your full and undivided attention and adoration. <laughs> I guess this comes with the territory of never knowing my parents. I need to get my affection from somewhere. We all have our dirty little secrets, our weak spots, the things that we don't want anyone else to know about. And for me, it's the fact that any love I ever received in my life has always come with a price. For example, you will love me if I let you go. You will love me if I undo your bindings. And what you told me yesterday, that you will love me and pledge your loyalty to me if I kill Master. <laughs> is love attached to condition really love? Or is it something else entirely? <sighs> but never mind that for now, my darling. Look at what I've brought you today. Fresh, crunchy apples from the farm down the road. And grapes. Cheese. And even a little bit of wine. Surprised? If it were purely up to Master, he would put you on a diet of stale bread and sour milk and 
soup made from potato peels. But it's not up to him. I've been giving you a share of my very own food every day. This is how much I care about you. Don't you see that? Isn't there a tiny, tiny part of you that feels a little bit of something for me? Answer me, my love. Sometimes your silence cuts deeper than the words that come out of your sweet mouth. Well? I guess you're not in a talkative mood, huh? Maybe it's because you know what's going to happen to you tomorrow. I don't know if you keep track of the days while you're down here, but if you have been, and if you haven't started to lose your senses already, you will know that tomorrow at noon is the full moon. Even though it's daytime, it will be the prime time for Master to conduct his ritual. So, I'm here to clean you up and make you look presentable. Here. I have a bucket and a towel. This, this isn't just ordinary water. This is ritual water, infused with flowers and herbs to calm your mind and relax your muscles. Very soon I will weave a magical outfit for you. It's going to be a special outfit, created exclusively from magic. Master has been working very, very hard, making all the necessary preparations and adjustments for the ritual. I've been watching him do this. It's mesmerizing at times, when I'm not being reminded of the fact that Chu will be the one who will very soon become one of his puppets. <laughs> one of his puppets. A piece of walking skin. Wouldn't it be nice if I had the skill to make you into one of my puppets? Oh, all the things I fantasize about. I could make you do anything I wanted to. I could make you 100% mine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that be so wonderful? Me tending to you, and you tending to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been talking too much. I always make it all about me. I forgot to ask you. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Knowing that tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow, you will be led by your magical tethers up those stairs and into the forest, and you will come face to face once again with Master. He will drain your soul from your body. The mind that you always thought was yours will leave you. It'll float up into the ether to forever dissipate into nothingness. Your beautiful shell of a body will then be inhabited by an energy golem. If you've never heard about them before, an energy golem created by Master is a very strong thought form. It is something that is connected to his energy, to his mind, and to his will. He needs only to concentrate on the thread of magical energy that connects him to the energy golem to animate it. What he plans to do after expelling your mind and soul from your body is to stitch this golem inside you so that he controls your body through sheer force of will. Oh, my darling, my sweetheart, my love. Do you hate me? Do you resent me for being able to let you go, yet making the decision not to? 
Questions such as these keep me up at night, so I guess I do have some semblance of a conscience. I'm already beginning to grieve for you, even though in this very moment in time, you are still here. You still have your wits about you, and you still understand what I'm saying. Would it be strange for me to say that I found solace in you? I can tell you things and have told you things that I've never been able to tell anyone else before. I suppose when you know that someone's about to lose their mind, no secret is too heavy to be a secret. All right. Spread your wings for me, please. I'm going to summon a magical wind to blow away the dust and make them look as good as new. Navut Vastraya Sena Kluna Selen Marlut Rise, spirit of air, and blow the dust away. There we go. Doesn't that look amazing? I am quite proud of my handiwork and my mastery of elemental manipulation. It's taken me a very long time to master this, and I hope to one day surpass master in terms of skill. When I do, I promise you that I will scour the edges of the universe for the last fragments of your consciousness and return them to their rightful owner. At the moment, I feel so powerless. But when I have developed myself as a mage, and if you have not been destroyed by Master's little wars and experiments, you have my promise and my word that I will restore you to what you once were. Here, let me wipe this dirt and grime of your face. I want you to know that I see you. I see the intelligence that lies behind those eyes of yours, and I know what you must be thinking. You must think that we're monsters. Anyway, to prepare you for tomorrow's ritual, I need to remove all metallic items from your being. I understand that this little keepsake around your neck must mean a lot to you. I'm sorry, but I must take it from you now. What is this? I didn't realize it was a locket. I suppose I've been so blinded by your magnificence and beauty that I have not paid much attention to your adornments. Oh, a lock of hair. Beautiful hair. Feminine. Magical. Delicious. I would like to meet this girl. No wonder I've not been able to make my way into your heart. <laughs> I'm going to lure her here. I'm going to set a trap for her under the premise that you are still alive and functioning. She will come for you and Master will capture her. She will become his next experiment. <laughs> I do not like competition. 
Oh, this must be torment for you. To know that there is no way in heaven or hell that you can save the one being you care about the most. I guess now you know how I feel about you then. <laughs> Let me brush your hair for you. Oh? You want to know what'll happen to you after tomorrow. Master and I will take you into the woods and set up a ritual space. We'll cast a shield to ensure that no outside influences are able to interfere with what's happening. Then, Master will conduct an ancient blood ritual that he has adapted specifically for his purposes. I do not know if you will feel any pain. I have seen creatures whose bodies have given out as a result of the ritual, and I've also seen creatures whose bodies have come out of it relatively unharmed. I don't know which category you'll fall into. And I can't make any promises that I cannot keep. But rest assured knowing that I will continue to tend to you as there is a recovery period after the ritual. There you are. Ah, oh, drat. I've forgotten to bring down the crystal that will help weave your magical garments. Stay still. I'll loosen your bindings a bit so that you can enjoy your food while I go upstairs to get the crystal. I shall return in a few minutes. Don't miss me too much. <laughs> <laughs>